Ladies and gentlemen, I looked on YouTube. I could not find a video on how to disconnect your trailer. So we're going to give you a little bit of an example. We're going to lower the jack stands onto the ground on the trailer. Once they're dropped on the ground, guys, we're going to go in the cab of the truck, decrease the suspension down, okay, which means let the air out of the bags. You can see the bags there. They'll go down here in a minute, okay? He has an automatic pin release for the fifth wheel here, okay? Um, that'll release the jaws around the kingpin, allowing him to pull out, okay? Um, if he didn't have an automatic, you'd go right here, and there's a handle right there that you pull, okay? It's pretty easy. You just grab the glad hands, and you twist and remove. Twist and remove. This releases the air going to the trailer, which then allows the brakes to come on so that the trailer won't move, okay? Tires will lock, we can pull out from underneath of the trailer. The next thing we'll remove is the uh, electric going to the lights, okay? And it's pretty simple. Now he's gonna go down. We're gonna go in the cab. He's gonna go right here and release the automatic release. You can hear the air is released the bag is going down which is bringing the truck away from the trailer a little bit okay now he's going to pull out from underneath of it the trailer is now locked by the tires it won't move the feet are on the ground he's going to pull out you have to release backwards first i skip that step and then you pull out this is the fifth wheel plate okay the kingpin goes inside here it simply goes in there it hits that mechanism and allows the jaws to go around it and lock it in place okay if you did not have an automatic release you would pull this out simply like that lock it in place as you can see there it locks on there okay it goes inside push it in it'd be unlocked locked in place would be locked Next thing you want to do is make sure your glad hands have a spot to hang up so this is simply how they go on you put it on straight okay and then turn like this to basically make sure it's locked in place or have a place to hold it while you're going down the road okay then you just have everything kind of hanging there a little spot to put the uh plug nice new trailer airlines power hookup he's going back into it again you want to get the fifth wheel right pretty much centered with the kingpin there as you can see i'm gonna direct him back a little bit as you can see he's kind of uh low he's kind of low so i'm gonna bring it down just a little bit so go over here to the crank lower it down so again here guys we lowered the bags to the truck you can see right here they're deflating they're going down with the switch in the cab set it on these blocks it's a different type of trailer low boy rgm basically now we're going to disconnect the fittings here 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 you got your air air electric watch mike disconnect these they go straight up and out turn in the little storage deals and hold there so that's how they dangle it's funny because they dangle this goes in that spot there pull it out so the release has been pulled right out it comes that's it guys we're out here you drop the feet how to unload a trailer. Get the feet down to the ground. Go over here and disconnect your lines. It's real simple. You turn them, they disconnect. You turn it, it flaps off. It's real simple. You hold the top of it up. Pop it.
it got out from underneath of it. So what we did was we went right here, okay, and pulled it like this and locked it over in place. See that little notch it comes over on that. When you release it, it would go inside of it. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That little nipple right there, they call it kingpin, goes in between these two seals. So you can see, you can be off center a little bit and it'll still kind of jam it in there and be all right. This plate right here, as you can see, there's kind of an edge, a solid steel edge, that'll help the fifth wheel, okay, go up underneath there. So this plate would actually hit that, push the trailer up a little bit, this will then tilt flat instead of an angle and hook up the way it's supposed to hook up. Piece of cake. This is the fifth wheel plate, okay? The kingpin goes inside here. It simply goes in there, it hits that mechanism and allows the jaws to go around it and lock it in place, okay? If you did not have an automatic release, you would pull this out simply like that. Lock it in place, as you can see there, it locks on there, okay? goes inside guys i wanted to do this one too this is a reefer trailer same thing you still got the same truck it has the same pin sticking down same plate you load it literally the same way okay all of them are the same guys when you're hooking up your glad hands they're stored now and disconnected but it's the same way you got electric here here and here your airlines you're good to go same crank so you let the feet down drop your airbags to pull out from underneath of it you have to go backwards to release the pin with the automatic with a key Kenworth T680. And then you just pull out from underneath of it. So there you have it guys. That's how to unhook and hook up a semi trailer. Uh, one little key important tip that I missed uh, throughout the video is that red goes to red, blue goes to blue. Green is your electric hooks up in the middle. Uh, service line, emergency line for your brakes. Don't get those backwards. Um, that way you know what's going on, okay? Um, other than that, this is the video that we wanted to put out. Couldn't find anything really on the line. Uh, trying to, you know, give a couple of tips to some people asking questions on YouTube. I couldn't find a good video, so we made one. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, click that subscribe button and the bell for notifications right to the side. Catch us on the next one. It's the Trucking Guy signing out. Y'all have a great weekend.